हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे आई एम बैक विद वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर आस्क्ड बाय द सर्वेयर इन द ओरल एग्जाम्स सो द क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट आर अलार्म्स एंड ट्रिप्स गिवन ऑन द मेन इंजन एंड आंसर दिस आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन विल नॉट ओनली हेल्प यू फॉर द ओरल्स बट ऑल्सो मेक यू कॉन्फिडेंट टू वर्क ऑन बोर्ड शिप सो लेट्स begin with the question and answer so the alarm centers which are provided in the fuel oil system they are first one is fuel oil inlet pressure after filter so its set value is 6.5 bar low low alarm is set value is 6.5 bar fuel oil pressure before filter its value low, low alarm is uh, again 6.5 bar then uh, pressure drop across filter uh, it gives high alarm for 0.3 bar then uh, fuel oil viscosity at inlet to uh, to the engine after filter uh, it gives low alarm at uh, 6 uh, sorry 7 cst and high alarm at uh, 20 cst then uh, fuel oil inlet temperature actually it depends upon the viscosity uh, low and high temperature both uh, values depend upon the viscosity and uh, both alarms are given and uh, la last one is leakage from the high pressure pipes that gives uh, high pressure alarm in case of leakage so these are all the alarms which are there on the fuel oil system in main engine now the next system for the alarm is uh, low oil system which is uh, which have plenty of alarms so the first one is uh, low oil inlet pressure to the turbocharger it gives low alarm at 1.2 bar if pressure falls below 1.2 bar it gives alarm then we have thrust bearing segment temperature so this is very important as it has uh, alarm plus shutdown plus sh uh, slow down so at 75 degree celsius it gives a high alarm high temperature alarm at 80 degree celsius uh, it uh, slows down main engine and at 90 degree celsius it shut down main engine then we have a uh, low oil inlet pressure to main engine so it gives a uh, 1.7 bar is the low level, low, uh, low pressure alarm 1.5 bar is uh, the value for slow down and 1.3 bar is the value for shut down so these two uh, uh, alarm and uh, trips are very important as they give uh, alarm slow down and shut down all three then we have uh, low oil inlet temperature to main engine so at 35 degrees it gives a low level uh, sorry low, low temperature alarm and 55 degrees uh, celsius it gives high temperature alarm and there is a slow down also at 60 degrees celsius then next alarm is piston cooling oil outlet temperature alarm so uh, at 70 degree celsius it gives high temperature alarm and at 75 degree celsius it uh, slows down main engine then we have uh, piston cooling oil outlet no flow so in that case it gives a no flow alarm and uh, in both the cases after giving alarm it slows down then we have low oil outlet temperature Uh, from turbocharger so at uh, 110 uh, degree celsius it gives a uh, high temperature alarm and at 120 degree celsius it uh, slows down main engine then we have uh, main engine bearing metal temperature uh, at 75 degree celsius it gives high alarm and at 80 degree celsius uh, it uh, slows down main engine then we have a crank pin bearing metal temperature the same uh, set points are same 75 degrees celsius uh, uh, alarm and 80 degrees celsius uh, slow down then we have crosshead bearing uh, temperature uh, the same uh, it also have same value 75 degrees celsius uh, it gives alarm and 80 degrees celsius uh, it uh, slows down main engine then uh, next is uh, uh, main engine sorry main bearing oil outlet temperature deviation from average so plus minus 5 degree deviation will give alarm and uh, plus minus 7 degree celsius will give uh, will uh, slow down main engine similarly for the crank pin bearing and crosshead bearing 
the values are same at uh, plus minus 5 degrees Celsius from the set value it uh, gives alarm and uh, plus minus 7 degrees Celsius it slows down then we have chain wheel, uh, ch chain, chain wheel bearing metal temperature uh, set value is again same 75 degrees Celsius it gives alarm and 80 degrees Celsius it slows down main engine so these are the uh, alarms and um, alarms and trips for the main engine in lube oil systems the next system is uh, cylinder oil uh, cylinder lube oil system in this cylinder lube oil inlet um, inlet pressure so at 35 uh, bar it gives uh, low uh, low pressure alarm and at uh, 60 bar it gives high pressure alarm then uh, cylinder oil inlet temperature uh, there is no alarm for low temperature but at uh, 70 degrees celsius it gives a high temperature alarm then pressure drop across filter uh, it gives uh, um, when pressure drop is high it gives alarm set value was not provided in the manual then uh, then alpha uh, if if the system is having alpha lubricating system then uh, back backup unit or uh, main control unit failure or power failure this gives alarm and also slows down main engine then uh, last one is a cylinder uh, lubricator no flow if there is no flow it gives alarm and slows down main engine so these are the uh, alarms which are provided on the alpha lubricated system which is installed on the man window engines next uh, system is uh, cooling water system in this the first alarm is uh, jacket cooling water inlet pressure so uh, low low uh, low pressure alarm comes at uh, two bar plus system uh, sensor static pressure means uh, the position of the sensor uh, position of the sensor uh, in the pipe means the pipe will have some static pressure so that pressure plus the two bar pressure it gives that that is the set value of this uh, sensor and at that value it gives alarm it also slows down at 1.5 bar plus uh, sensor static pressure and also shut downs at 0.1 bar plus sensor uh, static pressure so this is very important it uh, gives alarm plus slow down plus shut down of the main engine then we have jacket cooling water pressure loss across engine so at uh, 0.2 bar lower than normal normal value it uh, gives alarm and at 0.4 bar uh, normal uh, then normal value it gives slow down it slows down main engine and the reason for is that uh, this alarm is provided so that uh, there is no obstruction in flow of the water or there is no uh, much resistance to flow of water in the main engine uh, jacket cooling water system then we have jacket cooling water inlet temperature so uh, it uh, it has a low, uh, low temperature alarm of 57 degrees celsius then we have jacket cooling water outlet temperature so it has a high temperature alarm at 90 degrees celsius and slow down at 95 degrees celsius then we have jacket cooling water outlet temperature at turbocharger at turbocharger uh, it gives a high temperature alarm at 90 degrees celsius then we have jacket cooling water deaerator it gives a low level alarm deaerator gives low level alarm then uh, cooling water inlet to air cooler pressure so at air cooler the pressure should not be less than uh, 1 bar and should not be more than 3.5 bar it gives alarm then uh, next is uh, cooling water inlet to air cooler temperature so at 40 degrees celsius it gives a high temperature alarm then we have cooling water inlet temperature uh, to lube oil cooler uh, it gives a uh, alarm when the value is less than 10 degrees celsius these all the, the all these values are taken from uh, man bw manual next set of alarm uh, alarms are uh, there in the starting air systems so first one is uh, start air inlet pressure uh, if uh, pressure is less than 15 bar it gives low pressure alarm then control air inlet pressure it should uh, uh, be uh, above 5.5 bar below 5.5 bar it gives uh, low low pressure alarm then uh, safety air inlet pressure set values again same 5.5 bar then uh, air inlet to air cylinder for exhaust wall is again 5.5 bar 5.5 bar or below will give alarm in all the three conditions next is 
scavenger system scavenger uh, system uh, we have scavenger receiver auxiliary blower failure that gives alarm then uh, air temperature uh, uh, scavenger temperature in receiver at uh, 55 degrees celsius it gives high alarm and at 65 degrees celsius it slows down uh, main engine then uh, scavenger uh, box fire alarm uh, if uh, temperature is 80 degrees uh, then it g uh, gives alarm and if temperature is 120 degree celsius uh, it slows down main engine and in this uh, the last one is uh, water mist catcher water level for this it gives a high level alarm if water uh, in the water level catcher is high next system is exhaust gas system in exhaust gas system uh, first one is exhaust gas temperature before turbocharger actually it depends upon the uh, turbocharger value it is not provided in the manual then uh, second one is exhaust gas temperature after wall so it gives high temperature alarm at uh, 430 degrees celsius and uh, slows down at 450 degrees celsius then exhaust gas temperature deviation from average so plus minus 5 degree 50, sorry 50 degrees uh, it gives a deviation alarm and plus minus 60 degrees celsius it gives a, uh, it, it slows down main engine then we have exhaust gas temperature after turbocharger uh, at uh, 350 degrees celsius it gives alarm the uh, uh, exhaust gas temperature after turbocharger then we have exhaust gas pressure drop after each turbocharger at mcr so at uh, 450 mm of water column that uh, that gives alarm there is no slowdown or shutdown for any other things then uh, next one is a taco system so a taco system taco sensor is provided for all speed so it uh, shutdowns engine uh, when uh, its value is uh, uh, 1.09 percent of uh, 1.09 times of mcr value that is uh, 109 percent of mcr speed this is this is basically over speed alarm sorry this is basically over speed alarm now next is miscellaneous alarms which are not categorized in uh, any systems that is a turbocharger speed uh, it gives alarm if it is uh, high or low then uh, we have a vibration of turbocharger it gives high vibration uh, if value is high it gives alarm then we have crankshaft longitudinal vibrational or actual vibration uh, its value for alarm it is 3 mm and uh, if value exceeds 3.75 mm it gives uh, sorry it slows down main engine then we have uh, oil mist in crankcase so at uh, 0.5 mg per liter uh, it gives alarm and at 0.5 mg per liter also uh, at the same time it slows down main engine then we have top bracing accumulator pressure uh, at uh, 4 bar or uh, less it gives a low pressure alarm then uh, next one is uh, shafting shaft line earthing devices this is a propeller shaft uh, uh, earthing device if its value is uh, uh, higher than 80 millivolts uh, then it gives alarm Now, next set of values, uh, uh, alarm, uh, alarm and shutdowns are provided for ME engines, that is electronic engines. All those uh, alarms which, which we have discussed till now, they are provided in the MC, MCC engines, but uh, this uh, these extra alarms which uh, are provided on the ME engine. So, hydraulic power systems, uh, hydro, hydraulic power supply system in this first alarm is a low boil pressure after filter so if it, its value should not be less than 0 0.7 bar then next alarm which comes is a uh, filter failure uh, if a pressure is uh, greater than 0 0.8 bar it gives a filter failure alarm then uh, uh, then uh, hps uh, uh, bearing temperature the high pressure system bearing failure uh, at uh, at temperature uh, greater than 70 degrees celsius it gives greater than or equal to 70 degrees celsius it gives alarm for all these things there is no slowdown or shutdown then we have hydraulic uh, control oil system in this 
first one first alarm is low oil differential pressure across filter it gives a high alarm then we have low oil temperature at engine inlet so at 60 degrees celsius it gives a high alarm and at 65 degrees celsius it slows down main engine then uh, uh, level alarm in tank so it, it gives a low level alarm if oil level is less uh, in the uh, tank then water in hydraulic oil system if uh, value is 0.5 water activity this uh, the, the scale water activity is a measure of, measure in terms of saturation point or uh, water content saturation point in the lube oil so it's if its value is 0.5 then uh, it gives alarm and uh, water in hydraulic oil system is too high there are two alarms if it is high then it gives uh, if its value is 0.5 then it gives alarm and uh, for 0 0.9 it gives too high value is too high then water in hydraulic oil system sensor not ready and for in that case it gives fail self, false uh, system failure alarm sorry sensor failure alarm so uh, that's all friends uh, mostly i have not covered uh, the uh, alarms which are caused due to power failure in the alarm system itself and uh, power failure in some of the uh, systems which were provided in the main engine so except uh, those I have covered all the alarms which are provided in man W engines uh, covering M, uh, MC, MCC and ME engines. So thank you friends. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Take care. Have fun. And don't, uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you.